I'm going to try to get through this without breaking up a little bit, but... Uh, oh, go for it. Um, through my entire life, my mom has been a very, very special person to myself and my entire family. She has done more for me than I could ever explain through words. I could uh, stand up here all night and just say thing after thing about her, but I can't. I, I don't think I would make it through. So what I wanted to do for you guys is just uh, share a little story that pretty much sums up what she's done for me. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, it was in the early 90s. It was, uh, during the winter, there was a huge snowstorm that happened. It was in the early 90s. I was probably six or seven. It was during a weekday, and I remember uh, it was during the day, and they called school. I was trying to see if school was going to get called tomorrow. Just like every little kid would, I was so excited. And uh, I found out that the school had been called off. And I called, it. at the time my best friend was my neighbor, who was two houses down. And uh, called him up. And I said, oh, we have to have a sleepover. And like every kid does, you want to have a sleepover. And a couple hours had gone by. I, of course, uh, run around and start getting the essentials, which included no clothing at all. It included video games, probably the Mighty Ducks, and junk food, no clothing. Get everything together, tell my mom, I'm going over to Scott's, his name was Scott, and uh, we're going to spend the night there, open the door, and there's a wall of snow in front of me, just up to my eyeballs in the snow. So I shut the door, cue the Charlie Brown music, I go walking back, and my mom goes, what's wrong? And I, oh, I, I said, Snow, I can't, I can't I'm walking down the sky. I don't know what to do. And without saying a thing, she grabbed her jacket, a shovel, and walked out the front door and started shoveling. And three hours later, she came back in and shoveled a path that was probably about 500 yards long. It took her three hours in the snow just so that I could get to my friend's house to have a sleepover. Totally needless, didn't need to. My life with her was literally a million stories exactly like that strung together. I don't know, it may just seem like a, a little story, but it's special to me because what she did was not special to her. That was her every day. That was the kind of love and dedication that she showed for me and my entire family every day. So, I just wanted to give a toast. Whether you know her as Joe's mom or Carol or daughter or sister or aunt or mom or wife, let's raise a glass to her. Not just because we miss her. That's a given. Raise a glass to thank her for showing us what true love is like for her family. Cheers, Mom, I love you. This is, um, this is, this was my mom's favorite song. So, um, so, I don't care if you don't like dancing, I want every single person to get up and dance to this song.